Good morning. I'm camped out here in the forests of Provence. Uh, today's mission is to go to the town of Roussillon, uh, where I've scouted out a campground. I really need to <laughs> take a shower and freshen up and uh, also charge my batteries. I'm almost out of batteries on my power banks. So, uh, but the first order of business is to pack up the tent and uh, get down to the main road here. Instantly in the morning, I'm challenged with a problem here. <laughs> the road ahead of me is flooded. Could always go back to town, but I think that's uh, an extra 10 kilometers. So let's get out the crocs. <laughs> Well, that was a nice little warm-up, wasn't it? <laughs> Started the day with a climb of uh, about 150 meters in height, uh, over four kilometers. But I just think we're at the top of this little hill here. So I'm uh, already warm and <laughs> ready to go. I think we're up on the Valenzol Plateau again. Just got a bug caught in my helmet here. A little guy sitting on my handlebar bag here. <laughs> Had to let him out. See how long he stays. Bye bye. Now we're definitely on the Valensol Plateau. Just look at this. Behind me here is Valensol, and this town is the center of the lavender region here in Provence.
I just found some breakfast up in this tree here. Liking the look of those dark skies up ahead here. Basically had a gentle but uh, still nice descent here for the last 10 kilometers. So I've not even pedaled a stroke for maybe 5 or 10 minutes or so. I'm just gliding along here. Really nice right now. But a bit chilly. I'm glad I put my jacket on. Uh, on the downwards uh, you freeze a lot because uh, you're not doing any work exactly, you're just uh, holding on to your handlebars and uh, plus the, you get the wind chill from the wind here. I'm down now. When I started uh, where I took my little lunch break here, I think I was up at almost 500 meters uh, above sea level and now I'm at 250, so <laughs> quite the descent. Uh, now I'm going to cross this river called Durance over here. Uh, I think there are two bridges going over the river here. And uh, this is the only river crossing for, I'm guessing, 10-20 kilometers in each direction. So uh, I'm expecting a lot of traffic on this uh, bridge here. Haha, <laughs> guess what? We're climbing up again till 500 meters. <laughs> of course. meters didn't cover it. 649 from 240. Ooh. <laughs> Ready to do a big descent again. And it gets chilly every time I do those so I'm putting my jacket on. And I'm kind of like the karate kid. Instead of wax on, wax off, I'm jacket on, jacket off. Oh, 
Look at this bike lane. I've been on this uh, fantastic little cycle path here for the last five kilometers. Uh, I'm almost uh, in this town called Up now. I think I have around three kilometers left. The only thing about this cycle path is you have to watch these passages here. <laughs> Otherwise it's really terrific. Stay away from the traffic even though there isn't a lot of traffic uh, at this time of the day. But still, it's a nice change of scenery. Feels like you're going through a tunnel of uh, trees here. Well, after looking at the map, I'm guessing that uh, this uh, bike path is actually a greenway that I'm cycling on. Since uh, it's just passing the whole town here of Apt. Uh, I wouldn't mind go in to Apt, but uh, it's pretty late in the evening and I'm, I'm really tired <laughs> from all the cycling today. So I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Uh, I don't really like these big towns. I much rather prefer a little small town with uh, just a supermarket. So I think there's a Lidl or something up ahead here. So I'm gonna pass this town and uh, continue to a supermarket and then we'll see. Well, what do you know? I'm actually on the Eurovelo 8 without even knowing it. <laughs> so, uh, looks like there's a supermarket down here. So I'm gonna go there and uh, get back on this because this was really nice to, to go on. So, uh, supermarket next. Well, if we haven't had enough climbs for the day, why not end the day with yet another one? But uh, you can't complain about the views behind me here. The town that I'm entering now, Rosellon, is famous for their orchard, as you can see behind me here. And uh, I'm hoping to make it a visit to this orchard park tomorrow. Managed to forget to buy some coconut milk, <laughs> which is uh, pretty important when you're making uh, paneng curry. And what are the odds? They actually had it in this uh, little mini-mart here. I didn't ha have any big hopes of them having it, but found it. Perfect. Nice little village. But as in all the other small hilltop villages I've been to, I keep wondering, where are all the people? There are a lot of really nice houses, but you almost never see any people out on the streets. This is terrible. The campground is uh, maybe 50 meters below the town of Rosignon. So I have to backtrack 
this uh, road tomorrow to get up to the village again. <laughs> Finally at the campground and uh, for my 16 euros I can choose any of these spots as you see <laughs> behind me here. Uh, but after uh, much consideration this is the only <laughs> spot that's worth the name. Um, I really want to sleep on some flat ground with grass tonight. Uh, and uh, I guess I learned from the mistake I made at the last campground uh, where there was just dirt and gravel and a bit sloping so in case it rains tonight I'm sleeping on grass instead uh, but I've checked the weather forecast and it says it's uh, not gonna start raining until uh, maybe noon or so tomorrow so so uh, now I'm gonna pitch the tent and get the dinner going uh, like I've uh, I really like camping in the forest but uh, I've really been looking forward to this night uh, to take a, a shower and to shave <laughs> I'm looking like I've been out for a week or so uh, plus uh, they have uh, electricity here just by that tree here and uh, also got Wi-Fi in the reception so Got a lot of uh, things going for it, uh, this campground. <laughs> Just realize a funny thing. Look what showers are called in French. I look like a ghost right now. <laughs> no, but I just wanted to show you after eating a bunch of crappy dinners for the last couple of evenings, I've been feeling uh, a bit slow and uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm getting enough energy in me. So uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I decided to stay at this campground so I can make some de decent dinner. So now I'm now I'm making my go-to camp dinner which which is uh, paneng curry uh, it's really easy I just bought some minced chicken and um, coconut milk um, red peppers and I have this uh, uh, paneng curry mix uh, from back home in Sweden that I add to it and it takes maybe 10 minutes uh, to do and it's really delicious so really looking forward to getting some protein in me again so uh, I'm gonna enjoy this uh, gourmet camping dinner here in the dark uh, in Roussillon, Provence, France Bon Appetit! Just look at this mess I've made at this table I really need one table just for me more wine? Don't mind if I do. 